Hey, how's it going guys? JC here. Today we're going to be playing another Trindamir game. This time in the jungle, I thought I'd give you guys the full package. So Trindamir mid, top, and jungle. So let's go. I've been watching uh, quite a bit of Fogged. He's been doing a lot of jungle Trindamir gameplay, as well as Charismite and a few others. Um, so I have like a, a more uh, up-to-date idea of the jungle. So OP.GG and the runes on screen. Runes are just down there. OP.GG on the screen. So I want to show you guys how you can jungle and keep up on farm stay relatively in the game and also be impactful at least to the best of my ability so let's head down there i just want to ward this as late as possible usually when the minion spawn is just fine we'll be able to get there without missing a beat it, this is super super important when you're jungling is you want to use one smite on the raptor and second smite on the scuttle crab the reason you want to smite the scuttle crab also spin right away so it starts on cooldown instantly so the reason why you want to smite the scuttle crab is because your smite breaks the shield and then applies the damage. Also, I, I've screwed this up so many times, so I'm just going to auto and kill this thing completely, and then spin over. Pop a potion here because you do get slightly low. And then after that we just like clear all the way up. Okay, and then just spin out. Uh, although, yeah, you wouldn't have your spin up. So you want to use your, we just order the small ones first and then kite. Auto, kite, spin, smite that. Have a look at mid, mid's doing okay. They'll be fine. Just want to make a good timing. So two minute 40 and we're crossing into the wolf camp. So far I didn't see rumble, so I expect that my blue is still up since I did ward it. So I'm not sure how fast rumble clears the jungle, but we can slightly... So Rumble's over there. I'll use this opportunity to just quickly grab a Scuttle here. See how I break the shield and I do damage? There we go. We have Approach Velocity so that we run faster. Nice. We should be able to get a double here. Oh, I misclicked there. 20 CS, so that means this is up. But it's better to just go down. Gank, and... Yeah, we'll go for a gank, and then bottom scuttle. There we go. So this will freeze nicely, or at least like, we'll let Galio take all the CS and the XP. Well, where is Scott? Oh, there you are. Okay, let's see if Bot needs some help, and then we'll just clear back up. Oh. That's warded. Alright, I'm going to get some big items here anyway. Okay, so we get our boots here. I think, uh, arguably, you could go for Noon Quiver just for that faster clear speed in the jungle. But also, Zerkas makes you move around faster, so I like that with ganks. Just personal preference, but I haven't tested it too much yet. So we go for another full clear into top side. Unless we see Rumble doing something at the Dragon Pit. So same smite rotations. And then we'll kite to the next camp. Ok, 
Okay, we're level 5 now. So, spin through everything. Smite that one. Very nice. We can finish them off with a spin. So, just speed things up a little bit. Nope. That's not a gank. We see Scuttle spawning in topside, so by the time we finish these two camps, it's like 30 se- oh. Okay. Window is fine. Rumble's at 40 CS? That's crazy. Wait, oh. Well, this wall's too fat. Alright, I'm heading over. Oh, nice. Galio soloed. Let's check out Rumble's camps. Seems like he did a full clear again. I'll get a deep ward. I'm coming in. Nice. Does he have anything to slow them? Oh, never mind. Boots OP. Alright, I'll get one tower plating here, unless someone teleports, but... Uh, Wukong does have teleport, so I'll get one tower plating here. Okay, very nice. And then now we go... Down towards the scuttle. And then we do another full clear. So do scuttle, uh, smite it obviously, recall, uh, see if Tristana is gankable. So always smite it first to break the shield. Unless obviously if the enemy jungler is there, that's the exception. Oh yeah, uh, do this like clockwork, if you don't get any ganks off you just um, keep trying. <laughs> Just have to keep trying. Or, uh, best case is, see how Rift Herald spawns? You can clear up to Rift Herald side and then do a counter gank or a gank top. And then once that's cleared and your lanes have prior, uh, start your Rift Herald. It's very important that your lanes have prior, mid and top. Or else you don't do Rift Herald because that's kind of grief. Because, uh, say they collapse on you, like, your lanes don't have prior. And then enemy lanes collapse on you and then you blame your team. Like, that's just no, no go. That's your own fault for starting Rift. I can attest to that as a top laner. If I don't have prior and then my jungler starts rift, it's like, what the hell? And then he gets collapsed on and it's like, well, you, you kind of deserve it, but, you know. Uh, junglers that don't play lanes uh, would do that. Okay. Let's try to speed through this. Oh, there's still one more chicken, whoops. That slowed down my clear a little bit. So, Rift Herald is more important than Dragon early on. Oh, he's there. So you're gonna jump over. Nice. Lol. Okay, I, I had to stop my clear just to do that. I can sneak a rift here. Sneak a rift here, and then what I'm gonna do is instead of doing my jungle camps, I'm going to um because this opportunity opened up, I'm going to go and take this rift. Dive Wukong and then drop Rift there. Get that first blood tower. That's why I'm going for Rift right now. Potentially mid as well. Mid tower is more, uh, more valuable. So we'll do that actually. I can always dive top whenever. Oh, 
You actually get two charges off. That's insane. Where's the enemy jungler? I'm gonna keep going. Okay. Uh, let's respond to this. Also, Mundo's down there. May as well get our... Uh, we can get our Scuttle as well. We take that so quickly. We'll just scout out to see if there's any camps to take. There's a Gromp. We'll take that Gromp and then we'll go do Dragon. Oh, someone's here. I think it was the enemy support. Senna walked past because my W lit up. This is a little bit scary. But I left Wolf Camp up for Rumble, so maybe he'll go and get it. But I really need a recall right now. I have so much gold. Recall and then do another full clear. As long as you're doing full clears over and over really fast and efficiently, uh, you're good to go. So that's the key. Okay, that's fine. Let's go do a full clear into top. We'll get that top tower. Um, damn. Okay, it is like 12 minutes, so the... Ooh. That guy is getting camped by Rumble, but we're here to like ruin it. I also want to keep our farm up. Okay. If there's anything to do it, but uh, hey, I'm doing so well on the other side of the map. I'll just play strong side. Strong side just means the side that I'm uh, putting all the resources into that's supposed to be strong, which is Mundo and Galio. Mundo's not doing too well, but still up in CS. Okay. Just always look at lanes while you're doing jungle camps. Oh wait, Mundo has it. Nice. Oh wow, okay, um... Yeah, yeah, you don't need to do anything with Samira, I guess. <laughs> so, well, we already, like, put two lanes ahead, and we basically are so strong that we can solo carry. At this point, I'm stronger than a top lane Trindamir anyway. Like, I have a full Kraken. Okay, let's go and grab that Scuttle, and then we'll reset, and then go bot. The original plan was to be topside right now, and, like, diving Wukong. Getting that top tower, but it looks like, uh, yeah, they, that Mundo just 1v1. Oh, maybe I can do this, actually. Yeah, Rumble's going bottom side. Yeah, I can just take his entire camps for free. So I'll take these and then recall. Oh, hello. I think he used his clone on the camp, that's why he didn't use it. I think I saw his clone disappear as I spun over. We'll let this push back in for Mundo. Or... Actually, I'm just gonna push it in. There's a nice tower we can just take. And this is also a good way because um, Mundo is roaming right now, so he doesn't really care. Yeah, Ezreal's scared. And I don't see, um, I don't see Rumble invading. Based on the map, because the map, like, we have really good wards. And yeah, he doesn't have red buff, so he didn't invade. So my red is still up, and I get my Navori at 15 minutes. Full Navori, Kraken, and also... Yeah, this is really good stuff. Uh, literally, I can solo carry, even um, like two of my lanes are losing, and one of them may be mid lane. Uh, I guess mid and top is the ones I visit the most. I'm going go for a quick clear into Rumble's jungle, and then bot. Bot tower. Uh, 
That team's taking over already. I better just take this and go. Okay. Take a few camps and go. Right now, Rumble has nothing to farm, and I'm just taking everything on the map. I'm having really good success on this account with uh, Jungle as well. The other game I played, I think I was 17 or 20 something kills. Nice. Start popping potions once your ult is ending. That's a really bad habit while playing Trindamir is I do that. But for every other champion, you need to pop your potions really early. And I get into such a bad habit. Uh, I'm going to take the Scuttle and also... Yeah, I'm already moving towards it. You see how fast that Scuttle dies because I smite first? It's so OP. I didn't realize that until like recently. Uh, I didn't know that was a thing. I thought it was just silly to smite at first. I can't really buy anything unless I drop a pink ward. I'm gonna go uh, clear towards the Rift Herald. Right now I clear so fast. Yeah, I'm going. Obviously as I go there, I'm going to clear all my camps. Oh. Still a wolf. There we go. Just have to keep that farm high, guys. So at 156, and I'm I have participated in 11 kills. So if I didn't participate in this many kills, I probably have more CS. And that will offset some of the kills. Like you won't get um such great results all the time, but if you path like this, you'll be in a lot of the action, and also be part of a lot of the kills too. Okay, I got rift. Let's go towards where our team is and just drop it. Oh, hello. I can probably use it to ram into these towers for fun. Oh, do I get out? I'm actually alive. Oh, I'm dead. Oh, man. Oh, well. Get out, IE. With Futures Market, it's just like if you're not ultra fed like I am right now, where I have IE at 18 minutes, like up to my IE fourth item build at 18 minutes, uh, Futures Market really helps because you can just grab things. So, for example, if, say, um, I wanted a longsword. Oh, wait. I can't grab a longsword? Okay, I can grab a dagger. Like, that example. But yeah, I don't need it right now. It's just one of those like uh, tight situations, especially on your first back. Say, if you like clear part of your jungle and you die, and you want to come back with just like tier 2 boots, you can. That's what I really like. And it's, uh, approach velocity is really good because you get to press W, or anyone on your team slows them, uh, and then you speed up, you get like 400 something move speed. Uh, with just tier 2 boots only, you get like 430 or something. Really insane, like a high amount. And then if you have ch uh, Chilling Smite plus the approach velocity, it'll be way higher. So it's sort of like popping Ghost. If they're slowed. But yeah, GG well played. That was a really clean game. Really quick game as well. We just completely annihilated. Also, my team did super well, especially bot lane. I don't know what happened bot lane, but... They got ganked and then they turned it around and just wiped them out. I think maybe like I got Rumble tilted or something. Like Rumble was just literally failing every gank. It was really nice. It was glorious. Uh, I guess I'll honor Samira. She did some magic footwork. And maybe she's she's probably top damage. She's 12 and 7. So she has more kill participation than me. Uh, she has less farm but should be highest damage and then me. But yeah, GG well played. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. And um... Be sure to stay tuned for the mid lane Stridebreaker Trinomir, which is going to go away very soon. And it's a build that actually reached Challenger. I thought that it'd be a waste not to make a video on that one. So stay tuned for that one. It will be coming out very soon. 
and I'll see you guys all in the next video. Cheers.